Good morning, St. Thomas More. Quick message from Brian Daly. I may repeat this message on Monday because quite a few of you are off on trips and I hope, I hope you guys all have a great day. For those of you who are here, just some reminders as we move into the spring, some things I'm seeing that uh, are frankly unacceptable just need to be corrected. Uh, first of all, the uniform. As we go forward, just be, is, the weather warms up, it starts to become a, a uniform issue. And the biggest one that I'm seeing on a regular basis, and you guys all know this, you can't wear Crocs. So Crocs and sandals are not allowed in the school. I don't even have the power to just flip and switch the uniform issue like that, or the uniform policy like that. But you cannot wear Crocs for a variety of reasons, but you know this. If you're caught wearing Crocs, you're gonna get sent down. You're gonna have, we're gonna have to call your parent to have them come drop off a pair of shoes. What a waste of time for you, a lot of waste of time during a time when you don't have class time to waste. So please just follow the uniform, wear, wear shoes to school as normal. Secondly, I wanna talk quickly about um, community behavior. As it warms up, more people are going out for lunch. As always now, I don't know if you noticed, but on the um, street from Upper Paradise to the plazas, you'll see a bunch of covered, covered um, garbage cans, so please use them. And in general, when you're at the plazas, remember if you're wearing the uniform, you're representing us and you're expected to behave as such. And if you wouldn't do such a uh, bad thing in the hallway, you should not be doing it <clears throat> at the plaza. Please do not throw your garbage on the ground. Don't cause problems. Se and similar to that, stay off the um, playgrounds at the park, okay? Those are for the local community and their children, and it's really not for St. Thomas More students. But we had an incident last week. We're still gonna follow up on, I'm not happy about it. But please, just mind yourself in the community. I know that you guys are good kids, and I want to uh, have the community realize that as well. Um, in general, I, I looked at um, midterm marks and it's important that a lot of you who are failing catch up in school, let's face it. Uh, the only reason you're failing right now, if you are, is because you have a number of zeros. It's May, don't wait till June. Get these things done and submitted, work with your teacher. You can get yourself out of the hole you're in fairly easily, but you have to take some initiative as a student. And finally, in general, just respect for adults uh, in the building, outside the building, at the plaza, anywhere. Um, please just be respectful to the adults. The, the adults who are in the building are in charge of making sure that this place remains in normal order. And that requires that sometimes, if you're breaking a rule, they're gonna call you on it. Don't be upset with them for that. That is their job. And that is why this school is in order, because they do that. So you need to accept that and just say, no problem, miss, no problem, sir. I'll go to my locker, I'll correct that. Let's not get into a conflict over something. If you're breaking a rule, just admit you're wrong and move forward, correct it. Um, but please respect the adults. That's just part of what you have to do around here. Um, and I'm gonna throw one more in just for the nines to 11s uh, because the 12s have realized this year. It comes up on you fast that you have 40 hours, you need 40 hours of volunteerism to graduate. If you're between grades 9 to 12, start collecting them and amassing them now. 10 per year is very easy to do. 40 in your last year when you're saving for university is hard. So I'm just asking 9s through 11s to get involved in volunteer activities both at the school and outside the school. Log those hours so you don't end up in a crunch in your grade 12 year like many of our grade 12s are finding themselves. And with that, I hope you have a great Friday. Good morning, STM. Here to talk to you briefly. Uh, the Athlete of the Year nomination forms are now available in the Fazette office. Make sure you get those filled out and handed in by Tuesday. So you've got a couple of days to do it. Do not assume somebody else is going to nominate whoever it is that you're thinking about. Make sure you nominate them. Secondly, the junior football meeting. Uh, will take place uh, this coming Thursday. I believe that's the 18th in the lecture hall right after school. Be very quick meeting. <clears throat> All we're trying to do is get some interest levels, um, just gauge interest levels. We want to get signups. If you are even thinking about it, even considered it for a minute, come on up to the meeting, get a little bit of information. No experience necessary. Most of our guys have never played football before. We'll teach you from the ground up uh, exactly everything you need to know about the game. So come on out to the lecture hall on Thursday, immediately after school, maybe five, 10 minutes tops. We'll see you then. Let's make it happen, STM. Good morning, STM. 
Hey Nika. Hey Gabby. Have you heard of Diversity's annual talent and cultural fashion show? No, what is that? It's a show where we will have talent and cultural fashion to celebrate. That means you're saying it's more ways to be you? So what is it? Thursday, May 25th, 6 p.m. 6.15 p.m. When does it start? 6.30. Wow, how much does it cost? $3 early bird tickets, school cash online, or $5 at the door. Also, want to get something at the cafe? <laughs> Good morning, STM. My name is Mary Paul, and I'm here for your announcements today. Freezy Friday is here, STM. If you signed up for the Cancer Relay, go out to the STM patio on your lunch to claim a free Freezy. If you haven't signed up yet, remember the deadline is next Friday, May 19th. Don't miss out on your barbecue, backyard games, walk, and fun outside with your friends, all for a great cause. This announcement is for those involved in the school play. My cousin Lino, today's rehearsal has been canceled. Please work on your lines and blocking. We will see you next week. And now for your sports. The girls' touch football practice scheduled for today is also canceled. Please listen for the announcements and check your social media pages for our next practice. Yesterday, the senior girls' soccer played the quarterfinal game versus BR. The girls had a solid showing, winning the game with a score of 4-0. to zero. Thanks to the goals from Janelle Sylvester with a double, Francesca, Francesca Pugliese and Samantha DeStefanis with a single. The girls advanced to the semifinal where Tuesday they will face Cathedral on STM Turf. The senior boys soccer team played their quarterfinal match against the Cathedral Gales yesterday at our home field. Boys came out with a great intensity and quickly scored a few goals. They played exceptionally well and remained organized for the majority of the game. The final score was 4-1. to one. Goals were scored by Matthew Genicaro, Emilio Refosco, and two by Jack Ifrates. They will play their semifinal game on Tuesday. Details to follow. Come out and support your senior nights. Thanks, STM. Hey, STM. My name is Kiara. And I'm Ayla. And we are from your STM Cares Committee. STM Cares is about raising awareness for mental health within our school community. To help do this, we'll be doing different kinds of fundings in the cafeteria for Mental Health Awareness Week, which starts Monday. There will be different kinds of things like juice boxes and blue shirt day coming up. Stay tuned to hear about the activity going on each day next week. Thanks and have a great day. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.23. And remember, it's a great day to be a knight.